now we will go to our app.js module and for pagination we need two things at first page and limit and they can change over time so as we discussed earlier that all the child components will be controlled components that is why we will manage these states for everything from app.js so we will use use state hook for page and limit to manage their states so first we will create state for our page and give the default value as 1 then we will create state for our limit and give the default value as 5 since we discussed earlier that default value for limit will be 5 now first we will pass these values to get users method to paginate through the users data and handle the returning of user records from get users method based on these values so to iterate the users data we will use for loop now we apply some conditions based on page and limit to return the data Now let's see what the condition will be. If the page is 1 and limit is 5, then we want to return value of users from 0 to 4 since index of array starts from 0. If the page is 2 and limit is 5, then we want to return value of users from 5 to 9. So the generic condition for this will be page minus 1 as a whole into limit to less than page into limit so we will create a variable called array which will be an array for storing these values and we will push the data one by one in the loop and return that array at the end after the iteration completes now before we check the functionality in the browser we are gonna add a method get length to return the length of users array so let's add get length method and return users.length from it. Now let's see in the browser that if up to this point everything works fine. So here you can see that our pagination is working according to our values that is page 1 and limit 5. And if we set the page as 2, you can now see in the browser that users with id 6 to 10 are displayed. So that means our pagination is working fine. So let's move forward. 